what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Here's the situation. You got a black man who's 21 years old and his girlfriend riding around 2.30 a.m. in Statesboro, Georgia. They're minding their own business. Along comes a car full of white people antagonizing, screaming racial epithets, playing the music from Purge. That's a movie where for one night, people in town gets to go out and commit crimes without any consequences. At one point, they hit this guy's car. They don't know if it was the other car that hit it or another object, but the car was hit. William Wilson pulls out his gun that he had a legal permit to carry shoots one time as a warning shot and inadvertently hits Haley Hutchinson, 17 years old, killing her. The police catch up with William, charge him with one count of felony murder and one count of felony assault. Does that seem fair? We all have heard the stories. We've seen them reenacted in movies. We know that is a very real threat when a black man is being chased by white folks in America, especially Georgia. They're chasing him. He's minding his business. They're chasing him. They're screaming racial epithets. They hit his car. He defends himself. And he ends up in jail? Correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding of the law is if someone is killed while you're in the commission of a crime, you can be charged with that person's murder. So if anybody should be charged with Haley's murder, it should have been her people that was in that truck with her. Okay, she got shot. That's what happens when you attack people. Sometimes they defend themselves. Oh boy, but I bet you anything. They never saw that coming. They thought they had an easy target and they thought it was gonna be business as usual. They probably have harassed black folks in the past and gotten away with it. So they didn't have anything to fear. Next thing you know, it's nigga, 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 boom. And now your friend is dead. I bet you if she could play it all over again, if she could hit that rewind button, she'd say, no, guys, let's leave them alone. Leave them alone. It's not worth it. And it's not worth it. Leave people alone, man. Why is it so damn hard for folks to mind their own business and allow other folks to live, to exist, like you want to? Why is that so damn hard? Why is it so hard to just mind your own business? Somebody driving down the street, you look at them, you don't like what they look like, so what? You keep it moving. Don't look at them. Keep it moving. What's so hard about that? No, they wanted to have that same old experience that grandpappies and grandmammies have had. They want those experiences. Running off, chasing black folks, running them off the road, spooking them, terrorizing them. Then a friend end up dead. And then they arrest the black man. 
They arrest the victim. He is he's really the victim. But they've figured out a way to make the white girl the victim. When really she was a suspect in a crime. For the mothers. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If I was in that situation, I don't know if I'd have done anything differently. If I was William Wilson, Wilson, I don't think I would have done anything differently. I got to defend myself. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. Real talk, man. Because I know he had to have flashes of all the times, all of the hundreds of thousands of black people who have been lynched, murdered, just ran off the road by white folks who just feel like they don't have a right to exist. They, they don't have human rights. They don't have civil rights because of the color of their skin. Now, it's unfortunate that anybody have to lose their life in that type of situation. And I mean in a situation, not in a situation where you're antagonizing people and hurling racial slurs, you know. When you attack people, man, you cannot determine how they're going to respond. You don't get the right to determine how they're going to respond when they're trying to defend themselves. William Wilson should not be in jail. Statesboro needs to be investigated. The prosecutor needs to be investigated. The whole police department needs to be investigated because they're racist. Ain't no two ways about it. If he was white, he would not have been charged. Guaranteed. I hope like hell that man got a real good defense because he's going to need it. He's going to have to fight that case like he's fighting for his life because that's what he's fighting for. If they get a chance, they will give him the death penalty. They don't give a damn. All they see is black and white. They don't care about right. They don't care about wrong. They care about black and white, control, power, greed. That's what this is about. Nothing else. Everybody that just heard my explanation of that case knows that what I'm saying is right and what they did to this guy was wrong. Y'all watch y'all backs out there. Especially people out there that's dating white guys, white girls. Watch your back, man. Because they got a lot of uncivilized people out there roaming the streets. And they would take you out just for fun. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.